I think building exclusively low income housing would require massive changes to the policies and subsidies that the state and the federal government have created. Um, I would like to see some of those changes. I'd like to see more opportunity to focus on housing for low income folks. Um, and so I've become active in the Democratic Party to try to play a role in creating that change. Um, but our short term reality is that we can't let perfect solutions be the enemy of possible solutions. Um, and the analogy I like to use here is uh, using cars. So if, if we built some Mercedes and Bentleys in Chapel Hill, um, that's that's important to do, because if we just stop building Mercedes and Bentleys, the people who like those cars and can afford them are going to start buying all the Camrys and the Corollas. And then the folks who used to buy Camrys and Corollas are going to buy their way down the food chain. And people at the bottom are going to not have any cars. And the cars that are, you know, your Camrys and Corollas, they're going to become more expensive when they're all that's on the market. So we need to build different types of housing so that we are creating opportunity for everybody in Chapel Hill. Because um, there's a huge demand to live here and we need to meet some of it with the tools that we have.